What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I just got back from cardio, so I am like whew, sweaty AF, but it was a huge delivery day today and I'm going to show you guys what I came home to. Alright, so the first thing, which I'm really excited about, I ordered some new shoes. I wanted some all white Adidas for a while and I can't really wear the Ultra Boost just because I have really small feet and they run so big. I found ones that I do love though. They are right here. Get a little closer look of these for you guys. So I wore them today at the gym and during cardio and they are so comfortable too and I like that they're pretty narrow. Kind of feel like you're wearing a sock. I already don't remember the name of them but I'm going to look at my order form and I'll put it right on the screen right here for you guys. It was also bite meal delivery day so we are completely stocked up. This is honestly my key for staying on track and being prepared. So those of you who are frequent viewers of my channel, you guys know that I order most of my proteins, veggies, carbs, and things like that in bulk because I still love to cook and then that way I can throw together creative meals based on whatever I'm craving. But just having those basic staples already prepared is just so helpful just with being so busy and always wanting to be prepared. I also ordered two gallons of these pasteurized 100% egg whites from Egg Whites International. I actually got them on bodybuilding.com. The other gallon is in the fridge. I go through egg whites so fast and waste so much money either buying eggs or carton of eggs and I just find that this is the best way to get the biggest bang for my buck and the most value out of it. I read a lot of reviews on bodybuilding.com before I ordered and they were all really good reviews so I went ahead and ordered. I haven't used them yet. Like I said, the other gallon's in the fridge so I'll keep you guys posted on how they are how they taste. I'm really excited to just be stocked up on egg whites too. And this box right here is from Miss Emily Duncan. If you guys watched my last video, you will remember that we were each other's Valentine's and you'll see what I sent her for Valentine's Day. And so now I get to open mine. Okay, she knows me. Be kind, be helpful, bring wine. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, she's so cute. There's a guide. She wrote a guide for all the gifts that are in the box. Okay, let's see. The first one is the Hungry Mug. I thought this was perfect for prep and for being forever single and forever caffeine dependent. Oh, you have high hopes for me, don't you, Em? <laughs> Oh my god, this is amazing. Accuracy, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Gift guide number two, the disconnect journal. I know that it's all too easy to be glued to our phones and laptops since that's what the majority of our work is, true. But don't forget to stop for a moment, put them away, and take some time to just be present with you. I love that. Practicing mindfulness is much needed. This is so awesome. It's an I need to unplug journal, a journal for escaping the modern day surge of digital distraction. And each day you can write an entry about why you need to unplug digital distractions to avoid cell phones, laptops, video games, TV. I don't do video games or TV, but definitely cell phones and laptops. This is perfect, Um, Thank you. Gift guide number three, suede olive hat. Ooh because all of his life, yes, and washing your hair regularly is not. Accuracy, again, 10 out of 10. So cute. Love. Her card says, Karen, happy Galentine's Day, my sweet friend. I love you so much and I'm so thankful for your presence in my life. Friends like you trump a male romantic Valentine's every, every time. <laughs> So true. Your drive, hustle, kind-heartedness, and God-fearing spirit are just a few of the many reasons I love you. I can't wait to see you absolutely crush the pro circuit this year. You're an amazing woman, and I can't wait to see you shine this year. XOXO, love Em. My heart. I love you, Em. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope all of you guys had an amazing Valentine's Day, too. And just remember, 
whether you're single, in a relationship, it doesn't matter. It's just about celebrating love and whatever that means to you. I have a posing client this evening to get ready for. I am going to be bringing you guys along with so that you can see some of the ins and outs of posing and how I work with my in-person posing clients. I do offer Skype posing as well, so if any of you guys watching this are maybe not local to the Los Angeles area and you're looking for some help with your posing, all you have to do is head to my website. The link is always in the description box and all of the information for my posing sessions, whether in person or online, can be found on my website as well. And just an update for those of you that watched the previous video and participated in my giveaway that I'm doing, if you have not already participated, go back and watch that video. I will be making an announcement by the end of this week. I'm having so much fun reading all the comments from you guys and all of the various things that you guys are passionate about. Honestly, it is so inspiring just hearing all of the different things that you guys are passionate about and what fuels your fire. It's Ugh, I love it. So thank you to everyone who's participated, and I will catch you guys after I'm all fresh and clean. What's up, YouTube? You guys might remember hey. my friend Kyle back there from my Thanksgiving slash Friendsgiving vlog. It's been a while. What's up? <laughs> Kyle brought his beautiful girlfriend, Suzanne, Hi. over tonight, and we are going to get in a posing session. But first... Coffee. And it is 7.15 p.m. and she requested a shot of espresso in her coffee. This girl goes hard. <laughs> so we're gonna get an opposing session. Her show is March 11th, right? Mm -hmm. March 11th, so the week right before mine. You guys know I'm prepping for the Arnold Australia this weekend, but... Uh, no, not this weekend. What? I'm prepping for the Arnold Australia. God, I hope it's not this weekend. I ain't ready. <laughs> That is the weekend after her show. However, I will be leaving for Australia on the 13th of March. And it's kind of bizarre because Australia is like a whole day ahead. So I'll be leaving California on that Monday. And it'll be Wednesday when I arrive in, in Australia. So, yeah. Anyway, time to post. All right, so I'm going to add in something really small like the shift of a hip. What is it? Oh, my God. It's Ranger Kitchen. You're going to what that's going to do is just make it kind of look like it's setting you into place. That pose looks good on you, but it kind of looks like you're just like sliding into it. Does that make sense? So stand over there and kind of watch what I do. So when I come on, I'm walking nice and slow. My eyes are always towards the judges. You're always looking at that center judge. You can scan the judges to the side of the center judge, but always keeping your main focus on that judge that's sitting in the center, that's your head judge, they call all the shots. Okay. So as you're walking on, you're walking sort of at an angle with your shoulders back, you look very poised and nice and slow, smiling, looking at that center judge. And you can see, you can watch that I kind of shift my hips this way and then I hit this pose. So it kind of looks more like I'm setting myself, boom, now I'm here, rather than just walking and be there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shift on the weight onto this hip and then come back here. Oh, I see. Got it? All right. Got it. So you're walking, 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 shift, boom. Yeah, keep that back hand on your back hip and let that front hand just fall slightly at your side. That's perfect. That's beautiful. I'm very OCD about posing, so you won't leave here with like anything not perfect. Yes, but wait to put your back, wait to put this hand on that hip until right um, when you hit it. Boom. So it's boom. Yes. Oh, perfect. All right, ladies, go ahead and turn around and come back to the line. Perfect. And hit that front pose. Great. All right, you may file off. So you'll wave goodbye. We need to have her practice switching places with another girl on stage. Well, first you need to be standing off to the side of the stage because I haven't called your number oh, yet. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. What why are you behind her? Why are you behind her? It's the lineup. We're doing comparisons. You need to be right next to her. Like this? Like this? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that looks great, Kyle. Good. Okay. Number one and number two switch places. You gotta switch with her. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> Kyle needs to sign up for the 10 session package. <gasps> and you guys may file off. Good job, Suzanne. <laughs> oh my god. When you are on stage, one thing I want you to remember is when you're switching with girls, always walk in front. You did that with Kyle, that was good. He didn't really have a choice, he didn't know what he was doing. But, um, so always, always walk in front of the line rather than behind the line. You always want the judges to see you, to see your face, to see your physique. So when they tell you to switch with someone, um, you can raise your hand, kind of scan the line so you know who you're switching with, and then take that step forward and walk in front of the line. guys so I just got back from cardio and from training I trained this morning drove home from zero it took me about an hour went straight to gym number two to get my cardio in so I'm done with cardio done with weight training for the day and I don't know if you guys can see but there's a sick little roommate behind me she's waving uh, if you guys have been watching Amanda's videos you know that she is sick with the flu right now uh, she stayed an extra couple of days in DC with Brian because she couldn't even fly home she felt so sick but she's here now and I'm so happy she's home but as you guys know I am four weeks out from the Arnold Australia and I cannot afford to get sick so I stopped at the store and grabbed literally everything I possibly could find that had the word disinfection on it besides some prep staples rice cakes and mustard and Epsom salt for my sore muscles. I got some disinfectant wipes and it even says right here, kills 99% of bacteria in 15 seconds, kills cold and flu viruses. Yes, please. This one also is a spray and it says the same thing about killing viruses and bacteria. So we're gonna go with this one too. I'm gonna spray the entire house. Got some antibacterial hand soap for all the uh, sinks. Also some hand sanitizer. Hopefully she feels better very soon. I hate seeing her out of commission like this and if you need anything at all, Amanda, I got you, babe. I could use some thoughts and prayers from you guys that this flu virus decides to skip right over me and that the Lord blesses me with a stellar immune system. And if you guys have any tips for dodging the flu other than all the precautions that I'm already taking and like washing my hands, obviously, and that kind of stuff, comment those below. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Greetings, beautiful people from not so sunny California. Uh, I just got to muscle rehab here in Anaheim and I'm going to have some serious work done. It has been quite a while since I've had some active release technique therapy and some deep muscle stimulation and it is much needed. I think a lot of times when we're training super hard, we often neglect our recovery and it is so, so, so important. I've noticed huge, huge improvements in my ability to actually put on muscle because I'm ultimately able to train harder when I'm taking my recovery serious. So it is important that I'm here and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So I am here at Muscle Rehab. Christopher, he's gonna fix me. My biggest issues right now, I would say, are my hips okay. and my lower back. Yeah, bring my back. Mm -hmm. okay. I always recommend my clients to uh, stretch while you train. Okay. I say that because you want your muscles to be as mobile as possible while you train. So you record, say like when you're doing bicep curls, right? right. So you st you're, you're stretching your bicep, you're contracting your bicep, and <clears throat> as you contract it so much, it's gonna get stiff. That's when you, you feel the pump and you're like, ah. So you always want that mobility, so after that set, you wanna go ahead and stretch it. Okay. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, so the next day you can always get that stretch. Okay. Vice versa with everything else, legs, um, hamstrings, definitely hamstrings get stretched because your lower back that's what, could be part of it, your glutes, your glutes can be too tight as well. Yeah. So we're definitely working on your hip flexors, your glutes, um, your quads. Uh, let me have you stand up for me. Uh, touch your toes for me. Okay. How does that feel? Um, I mean, I feel tight right feel here, tight. but okay, I, that's I can do it. But you're yeah. flexible to touch your toes. Yeah. Usually sometimes people can't even touch your toes at all. I'm so, a yeah, oh. <laughs> so basically, this is the deep muscle uh, stimulator. It basically breaks down the mouth fascia, so it's easier for me to get into the tissue. Be better on my own Sometimes what's right is wrong and
Okay, that was painful, but much needed. I wish you guys could have seen my face while he was working on me. There were several times where I know I was just making like the ugliest, like cringiest faces, but whew, I could like feel him digging into the tissue and like the muscle. And honestly now though, I feel like lighter and just more like mobile. Like I'm honestly so excited to train tonight because I just feel like the weights are going to move so much easier. Uh, he said I should notice when I go into the gym that I'm able to push the weights around a little bit easier today. So I'll keep you guys posted on how that goes. I am training back this evening. Again, you guys, it is just so important to take your recovery very seriously. I know it's something that can tend to slip to the wayside and so if you're watching this I just really encourage you to set a goal for yourself to be mindful of your recovery uh, whether that just be stretching before during or after your training getting in for some deep muscle stimulation like I did today some active release technique therapy cryotherapy just foam rolling at home stretching at home just anything set a goal for yourself to take your recovery serious and comment below if you're gonna join in on that uh, challenge with me so I'm sitting in the car right now about to get in a meal. I brought one of my bite meals with me and have some rice cakes for my carbs. So this is just four ounces of white fish, asparagus, and then I'm going to do three rice cakes, which is about 21 grams of carbs. I'm going to head home, get some work done, and I'm going to be meeting a girlfriend tonight to train back. So I will catch you guys soon. My main goal for this workout was to really focus on hitting the upper back. A lot of people constantly are asking me, Karen, how do you get a small waist? And my biggest tips are to grow your glutes and grow your back. Doing that is going to help create that illusion of that small waist. Of course, diet is key for bringing in your waist and dialing in your abdominal section, uh, but definitely building up your lats, building up your upper back, and building your glutes are going to help tremendously with creating that illusion of the small waist. So I focused a lot on different variations of lat exercises here, uh, really focusing on that mind-muscle connection, that time under tension, and I was definitely feeling it the next day. I hope that you guys enjoy this workout footage. Thank you so much for being here, for watching another one of my videos. It means the world to me, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. I've been here all day And boy, it got me working side to side I'm talking to you I see you standing over there with your body Feeling like I wanna rock with your body And we ain't gotta think about nothing I'm coming at you Cause I know you got a bad reputation Doesn't matter cause you give me temptation And we don't gotta think about nothing These days you're talking way too much Saying I should give you up can't hear